how to record this. So from that small video, you realize that everybody hurts. Everybody hurts. The reason I always say that road safety is a message of love is because each and everybody, each and everyone who is involved in a crash, they have a loved one. And uh, everybody hurts. The victim hurts, some die painfully, some survive, but the pain they carry all along is deep, can never ever be removed. 
somebody once said there are certain words when said or there are certain things when seen they can never be unseen they can never be untold road crushes are very painful and that is why me as a war attend i love to speak about road safety road safety is my passion today i want us to discuss a topic that most people probably have never even heard about it they have never even known it is there perhaps it has happened to you and you don't know if it is there there is a word called hydro planning other people will say it is aqua planning which is basically true the word hydro planning and aqua planning they have all the same meaning aqua aqua water planning planning means a bit of slide hydro means water planning means sliding so what is hydro planning hydro plan okay i will admit a few more people hydro planning as i have said aqua means water planning means to slide the way you would slide a door you plane the door if 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 this is the door you this is the wall you plane you plane the door so you plane on aqua aqua planning you plane on hydro hydro means water so uh basically sorry basically hydro planning means sliding on top of water let us have a view of this no matter how experienced of a driver you are hydro planning may still occur so hydro planning basically has two words as i said earlier hydro basically meaning water or aqua meaning water planning means sliding sliding of the door it moves from one end to the other side swiftly smoothly um admitting more people so it simply means sliding on water so hydro planning simply means sliding on water the term hydro planning is commonly used to refer to the skidding or sliding of cars car tires across a wet surface hydro planning occurs when a tire encounters more water than it can scatter water pressure in front of the wheel pushes water under the tire and the tire is then separated from the road surface by a thin film of water makes it lose traction remember the way the tire is designed or manufactured it has threads it has certain beautiful shapes so basically most of us always just know the threads give us grip true thumbs up in the rain the thread helps to scatter the water that builds up as you move when this is what happens when rain appears or when it rains after a long period of time of dryness when the exhaust fumes come out of the car 
they settle on the on the road surface it's a mixture of dry oil or powder oil so when it rains water and oil will never mix so water is denser so it takes a lower shape and then oil on the upper side so what happens is when you are driving you literally not even touching the road surface because in between you the vehicle tire and the road is water and oil and we all know what oil can do rubber tires have treads grooves that are designed to channel water from beneath the tire this creates a higher friction with the road surface that can help you to minimize cannot help you to stop but can help you to minimize the instances of hydroplaning. When does hydroplaning occur? Hydroplaning can occur on any wet surface. However, the first few minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, depending with the downpour or even five minutes of a light rain can be the most dangerous. Why? When light rain mixes with oil residue on the road surface, it creates very slippery conditions that can cause vehicles, heavy vehicles, all vehicles, and this affects motorcycles so much, especially those that are at low speeds or high speeds. They will always hydroplan because I always say, when climate changes, when weather changes, everything else must change on the road. Number one, your following distances must change. Number two, your braking distances change. And so should your speed change. This can always lead to deadly combinations around the surrounding of motorists because you now cease to be a vehicle driver. You now are exposed to three types of collusion. The vehicle collusion, number one. Vehicle ramming other vehicles. Number two, the interior with the human body that is in that vehicle, if they're not safely secured, the cargo. And then number three, the human body and the internal organ collusion. When hydroplaning happens, it gives us a chance of those three. Vehicle collusion. I will add, admit some more much more. The vehicle collusion. When hydroplaning occurs, the vehicle now becomes a mobile hazard, a potential mobile hazard. It's, it's, it's a time bomb. It can happen anywhere to anybody and it can be very dangerous so it gives us three chances of a collusion the vehicle collusion cra vehicle crashing with any other thing around it when it crashes remember you are in inertia if you're not well secured with safety belts if you did not secure your cargo if you just placed your umbrellas your your teams they will move in inertia and they cause the interior vehicle collusion with the human body and then the third collusion, the third collusion becomes the human body and the internal organs collusion. The chances of being involved in a motor vehicle as an increases due to poor weather because weather is a potential hazard. It has conditions of visibility such as fog, rain we could have ice in countries people were following the countries where you have ice where you have different conditions uh, I need to mute. so when does it occur when the first few drops of the rain it is extremely dangerous but that does not mean it stops that does not mean it stops so let us watch this small video and see what really happens.
Welcome back. Should I replay the video? Uh, let me replay it once.
So uh, we have had what causes hydroplaning. The video has explained a few vital things about hydroplaning. It is a situation that catches people unawares because number one, rain comes as a surprise to many. You, you, you did not uh, plan to drive in the rain, but then rain comes. So the most questions people have asked me is how will I avoid hydroplaning? The following tips are important. Keep your tires properly inflated. Keep your tires properly inflated. If you under inflate, if you over inflate, there are consequences. Number two, rotate and replace tires when necessary. Most of us do not know that vehicle tires expire. Four years, exactly four years after manufacture, your vehicle tire will malfunction. So be very keen, learn to know the manufacture date of your tire, learn to understand the lifespan of your vehicle tire. Slow down when roads are wet. The faster you drive, the harder it is for you or for your vehicle to scatter the water. It's very hard. That is why when climate changes, everything else must change to low speeds. Stay away from puddles or standing water. They will easily lift your car because the vehicle tire has buoyancy. Avoid driving in outer lanes where water tends to accumulate. Most of our road designs, you might not know, but it is a bit of dome shaped. That is why when it rains, you always see there is no water at the center of the road, but it slides to the edges of the road, whether left or right. So if it is a highway, it could be the center lane that is safe for you because on the dome shape, remember now it is sliding, planing on water. If you move to the left, the vehicle tends to be a bit tilted and then it will slide more. So it is easier for you to miss it. So when you are avoiding hydroplaning, please try and drive at the center of the road. I know you will be asking, what of oncoming traffic? Yes, keep to the inner, even if it is a continuous yellow line, don't cross over it, but keep closely to it. Avoid the edge of the road because you will slide more, you will hydroplane more. Number six, try to drive in the tire tracks of the other cars in front of you. If you have ever driven in mud, you are told, Follow the tire tracks that you can see. In hydroplaning, it is also same, but it clears off very fast. It clears off very fast. So if you can be able to identify road tracks in front of you, try and follow them. And the same should happen to other vehicles behind you. Turn off your cruise control. Turn off your cruise control because it is computer aided. The computer may aid the car and tell the sensor, it is raining, there is a lot of sliding, and the spin might be more than it is required, and the computer might sense it needs more power and it will add more torque. You will spin out and do the scramble of the 360. Drive in lower gears. Why do we drive in lower gears? There is more torque, the vehicle is in slow speeds and it's more stable. Remember number three says, when roads are wet, the faster you drive, the harder it is for you to scatter water away from your thread tires. So if you drive slowly, it is easier. It will collect good water as it scatters it with the threads. Avoid hard braking. Avoid emergency braking because the vehicle will slide. It will slide because it's literally floating on water. Try not to make sharp turns. Hold your wheel firm. I see a lot of people when it's raining, you see people with mobile phones. Huh? 
they are driving they are trying to read whatsapp messages they want to read news please avoid it i need you to hold the wheel firm this is what i always say the steering wheel is not a hands-free device that is why even in exams they don't examine you at how hands-free you can work with it they only look at how you can hold it at nine and three o'clock firm with a v-shaped arm v-shaped arm to give you more stability to hold it firm up to that juncture ladies and gentlemen i come to the end of our presentation if anyone has a question feel free to ask if anyone has a question i now ask you to feel free and ask any question anybody with a question anybody with a comment on hydro planning because that marks the end of my presentation any question any comment anybody who missed this tell them i will upload it on youtube and probably by end of today evening they will have it they will have it by end of this evening anybody with a question feel free we have three minutes and then we will be off road safety and measures put into place Mokaya is joining. Welcome, Mokaya. I have come to the end of this presentation. Anybody who has missed a part, Mokaya, you will find it again on YouTube. I will upload it after this. So anybody who has a question, we have three minutes to tackle this. Anyone with a comment? Anybody who says I left out something they want me to capture in my next presentation? My final message is a lot of road crashes are happening. A lot of them are happening. We have the control. If we can share this information people pay for the presentations that i'm giving now but today i'm giving them for free this is the second one i am giving for free the first one was make it free accident free in 2020 today it is hydro planning the next one that i will give free will be the side mirrors and the last one that i'll give for free will be the motorcycle riders uh dinda Majori is clapping. Thank you. Thank you. I salute that. I honor that. So uh, let us share road safety. It's not about money. It is not about money. That is why I've decided to give four presentations for free, for free, just to give you the road safety intelligence. This is intelligence that if you have, you can save a life. This is intelligence that if you have, you can share and work it out with someone and make it happen. Road safety are measures put into place to help prevent possible deaths, possible injury, damage to the environment and property. The Bible says we have about 70 years to live on earth if we fear God. But we find people dying so young at the age of 22. So I had to ask this question in prayer. And I got this answer in Hosea chapter, chapter 4 verse 6. My people perish because they lack knowledge. My people perish because they are lacking in knowledge. If we get the knowledge, we will survive and attain the rightful years that God gave us. Let us stop this premature death. Road safety is a message of love, and only those who have true love will share it with you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, bye-bye.